Hi there, I'm Sandy Almack. Welcome to my 24 Tags of Christmas for 2017. Excited to bring you day one. And I'm gonna be using a stamp set from My Favorite Things, and it's so stinking cute. Look at this little thing with all these cute puppies. And since I have two puppies that look very much like these dogs, I'm gonna turn them into my dogs and make four tags in this video. Each one of the six videos in this series that I do each year has four tags in it and I give them all away. So you can leave comments here on YouTube and over on my blog in order for two chances to win. And if you do that on each one of the videos for the six days, then guess what? You have 12 chances to win a tag from moi. And I will be sending them out shortly after the week is over. I'll be announcing the winners on my blog. So go subscribe there so you get the notification if you win. For these guys, I wanted to color them in my Copic markers. And I'm going to turn two of the puppies into Giallo, my golden retriever, and turn two of them into Vienna. So we're going to do the Giallo ones first. I've stamped each one onto a long tag that has a score in the middle. And I punched a circle out of one side of it and then traced that circle so that I could stamp my image in that area and just keep the stamp kind of peeking in and not centering it exactly. When you center things exactly, if you're like me, you, you don't get the exact middle. And sometimes it's impossible to get the middle, like this guy's leaning to the side, but I try to deliberately make sure that it's off kilter, not, not trying to center it, because then it, it, I don't know, it's just a more pleasing look, I guess. But it's also safer because then if you're off, you're really off and it looks more intentional than if you were just accidentally off by a little bit. So I'm adding some shadows using a gray marker because I didn't want these to be like massively, oh my gosh, need to get out a gajillion markers and blah, blah, blah. Let's just do the shading with some grays and keep it simple and easy. I did put a lot of shading onto the white portions of the hat because I'm going to add some white pen to that. If you're adding white pen to white paper, you don't see very much. But if you add white pen when you've got color underneath of it, it makes a big difference. So look how much you can see the white pen edges when you've got some gray in there as well. So that is a little Christmas tip for you that you probably have seen in other videos of mine. If you were to just put the polka dots in the background and not over the image, they would look like tiny stars, but I'm going to put them over the image itself so it is snow instead, snowing down across the entire image. And then I'm going to move on to the next one. Now note that they are going to be covered by that circular panel on the front portion of the tag. So I'm not worried about making edges tidy and neat. Oh, and I didn't worry about masking anything. I just threw the images on there. The images, all the dogs come with hats on them and this one comes with all the lights on it. So you don't have to do any masking. And especially when you are just doing one image per tag. If you're putting a couple doggies on there, then you might need to do that. So I'm coloring stuff that's off the circle because I wasn't positive if I wanted to do something else with it at the time that I was coloring this, but you could stop just past the edge of the circle and not have to color the whole thing. But this little guy is so cute. This is probably my favorite stamp in the set, is this little puppy with all the little lights on him. He's so cute. Well, I don't know. It might be tied with the one I just colored. Or maybe with one of the Vienna ones, because those are really cute too. Okay, well, let's just say I like them all. MFT does some great dog stamps. And I've done some videos with them, you may have noticed. Usually when they have dog stamps, they send me one and they're like, Ahem, 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 knowing that I like me doggies. And I guess so do you guys too, because I see some of you using the stamp set as well. And this one did come out in, I think it was two releases ago by the time this video is being uh, aired here on YouTube. Maybe it's a little longer than that by, by that point. But I have been actually coloring it a little longer than this, but I saved it for my tag series because I tend to pick the stamps that I like that are really special, that I can do something really special and fun with for the tag series, because so many people look forward to it. I don't know if you look forward to it because it's tags and they're small and they're cute and they're quick, or do you look forward to it because it's a giveaway? 
It's hard to know sometimes, but every time I mention that the tag series is coming up, I always get all kinds of excited folks who are really thrilled at the idea of the tag series coming. Just putting a little highlight on each one of the bulbs. You could actually leave that white highlight there and be just fine. I decided I was not going to do that. Uh, just to make it easier, it's easier to make a little tick mark with a white pen than to leave it uh, all by itself when you're doing your coloring. So now we're on to the Vienna stamps, and she's really an easy dog to make into whatever dog stamp you've got going on because I just put two big spots over her eyes and give her black ears, and it's immediately Vienna, <laughs> immediately recognizable as her. I did leave my highlights on these uh, ornaments, these bulbs, because they are bigger. A lot easier to do that on these types of things than on those little teeny tiny EDB lights. But I'm going to throw the, the blue in the background there and color all of the background on each one of these with the same blue. If you're making a set of tags to go with your gift wrapping, it's sometimes helpful to buy the gift wrapping first. So if you had some gift wrapping that had some blue on it like this, then you could pick a blue marker that's going to go with whatever the wrapping is. So that would be a tip for you. Go shopping early for your gift wrapping. Or think about it at the end of this year and buy some gift wrapping, gift wrapping that next year you can match. So if you get some stuff at the end of the season, get it on some sales. Think about the kinds of colors that you like to color. And if you find any tag ideas this year, then buy that wrapping paper and then write down the name of the video so that you can come back to watch this and make it next time. Now, I apologize. I thought I was in the middle of the area for filming. Apparently I was not for this portion of this other stamp. You know, stuff happens sometimes and that's how it is. I was actually doing the filming just before I left for a trip a few weeks ago and I was working a little bit too fast, shall we say, but I took the videos with me so I could do all of my voiceovers while I was there traveling and I, while I was in a hotel. So that's what I'm doing at the moment while I'm recording all this and laughing at myself for kind of messing up on that little bit of footage, but there you go making another one of my Vienna tags, and then I'll add some shading again with a gray color and keep the, the colors kind of simple and not have to really stress out about adding a whole lot of color and finding all the right blending groups for everything. For tags, you know, a lot of people don't save them. Hopefully people that get these will save them or use them or something, but a lot of times your recipients aren't really gonna be super thrilled about saving your tags that you've made for them. You know, they get so busy ripping up the, the gift wrap, so you don't want to spend a ton of time, but it's always fun to add a little something special like this. This particular kind of tag, um, I would recommend telling them that it's an ornament for the tree. So on the back of it, you can write the year or something so that they will know that they should put that on the tree and save it as an heirloom. Now I could have just left this as an open flap, but then they would see all the messy coloring around the edges. So I just put the dimensional adhesive around the actual circle of coloring so that that stuff stays stuck down as well as just a little bit around the edges of the tag. And that made it really easy. I could punch a hole in the top and put a string in it and call it done. How awesome is that? That's the first four tags for the giveaway. So if you're interested, then make sure you leave your comments to win. And over on my Bible journaling channel, this week I have six videos as well. And there's a Bible page that I'm doing in the first video today. So there's a link in the doobly-doo as well as here on the screen if you want to go and check that one out. And I will see you guys next time. Have a really awesome day. I'll be back tomorrow with another tag video. I'll see you later. Bye.